Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going over some important keyboard shortcuts. Now, this is for Windows, um, so you have to kind of figure out on your own the Mac equivalent. All right, so the first two is a uh, copy and paste. Control C and Control V. So you don't necessarily, well, you can. You can copy clips and paste clips, or you can copy, like, complete uh, sections of your track. So copy, paste, you'll notice that everything I selected when I clicked copy is then pasted. And that's all well and cool. Uh, you can copy by holding shift. So shift clicking is another keyboard shortcut, I suppose. You select this entire area or you drag and select the entire area. Copy, paste, you paste the entire area. All right, copy and paste, you know, you should, you should know that already. All right, so we're going to talk about the D, and that is Control D. Control D means duplicate. So when you select something and you press D, and you keep pressing it, you duplicate it over a particular. You just keep on duplicating it. So one trick, if you want to create like tracks really quickly, is to master the D. So you select an area, and you want to duplicate. So I want to make this kick you know, continuous, like, you know, forever and all that fun stuff. So what I'll do is I'll select this area and I'll go control D, D, D. And then I have that selected. I can then duplicate this bar, control D, 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 duplicate that. And it's just all exponential, right? I keep pressing it and I can go on forever. And that's a really easy way. Uh, you know, some people, they go, okay, control control yeah and they'll just keep on pasting and pasting and pasting it's kind of a mistake and that doesn't work very well okay so to explain the next one i need to do something called artificial side chaining so what i'll do is i will just press b and i'll double click so right we have our volume automation for this bass right so the kick and the bass have their own kind of separate areas they sit in right so you know what you would think about doing is all right so you want to duplicate this but no oh, that doesn't really work you duplicate the automation but then you duplicate the audio with it so what you need to do is uh, duplicate automation so how you do that is control alt D and what that does is that will just duplicate your automation so you can duplicate you know things that you want uh, also control Z is undo so if you make a mistake just hit control Z and that's a really quick way to do like automation duplication and uh, basically that's it right uh, you may want okay so say you have your automation here and you want to switch things around all right so you'll go okay duh, and you go oh well that messes up my automation you can actually lock automation with this little lock guy up here. Click on that. And uh, no matter what you do, the automation stays there, right? Uh, and if you paste, the automation doesn't carry. Or if you control D or you duplicate, the automation doesn't go along with it if that little lock guy is on. Uh, so you can get in and uh, change things around and uh, not have to worry. You can copy, paste, take that, duplicate, elongate, take that the D, the D, the D, right, and move things around, and then once you've done that, all right, take that, and uh, duplicate, 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 and then you, you can just build a track with that simple shortcut, uh, what else is there, um, yeah, control save, control S, I don't really recommend, uh, saving should be deliberate if you're, because you'll have, you'll have like lots of files like laid out, different revisions, so what you'll do is you'll save, You'll save as, you'll name it revision one or whatever, and then you continue. And then you'll be like, okay, you'll work on the track for a while, and then you go, okay, uh, you'll save it as like revision two and a file below it. But if you hit control S to save it, like, you know, willy nilly, uh, you'll save over things you don't want to save over. So saving to me, it should be very deliberate. That's why I always go, uh, I go into the drop down menu and I save. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, uh, another thing, uh, you can just copy automation if you wish. Or copy, yeah, you just copy automation, alt, control, control, alt, C, and you cut envelope, 
and uh, you can say take that and we can copy that here oops come on don't do this to me and paste and then we have our envelope here you can use shortcuts or you can you know right click and it all works the same and uh, we've effectively copied that automation from one of these guys to another and yeah happy fun track making all right take care hope you learn stuff and uh, have a good one